beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed to her there shall be hallelujah praise the lord god bless you good evening please be seated hallelujah bless the name of the lord for giving us this opportunity again Oh, by the way, um, I was told last week was powerful in here. I was told fire was burning all over this place. Let's honor the men of God, Ejimi, Pastor Alpha, Benga, and all the people who made that possible. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Just a few, just a few things to note, and then we'll go to the word. Just a few things to note. Um, please pay attention, especially as regards the forthcoming prayer and fasting. Um, <laughs> praise the Lord. Uh, we are not religious people, and we are not people who just do things out of the ritual of it. I truly believe with all my heart that these seven days will truly be extraordinary moments in our lives. Praise the Lord. So prepare your heart for it. Um, we decided to add a few things to the seven days prayer and fasting. And um, we'll be having other specialized sessions, like four or five of them. We decided to have um, a special session for our children. I think it's, it's time we begin to bring them into. So we're going to have a session for our children. We're going to have a session um, for worshipers and music ministers. There will be a specialized session. There will be a special healing session also. we we'll dedicate a day to really, really take out time and pray for the sick. And then we're going to have a business session too yes we'll have one day all of this will be morning sessions um, is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness and so we want to really trust God to equip ourselves um, basically these are the sessions if I omitted any I'm sure that they'll communicate it but just for you to prepare your heart all the all the specialized sessions will be in the morning 
so that we'll have some time to really, really um, deal with the matters um, that we need to deal with in the night. It's seven days, but our fast starts from Sunday. This is just to honor the wedding that will be happening on um, Saturday. Two of our dear people will be wedding on Saturday. And uh, because many of us are involved in, in what they are doing, the meeting will start on Saturday, but the fasting proper will start on Sunday. I hope you, I hope you understand. Praise the Lord. So that it will not be honorable to all come and then we are unable to, to eat and celebrate with our dear people. Praise the Lord. Um, the second announcement, we have so many guests coming. Please, um, especially for those listening online, we, we believe in honor. And please, if there are any, maybe men of God or any public personalities you think are worthy of honor. Now, let me put a disclaimer very quickly so that you don't embarrass yourself um, those who are deserving of honor if your honor starts from your coming to koinonia you are not yet there are we together now that means when we say those who are deserving of honor there are people by god's grace whether in the music ministry in mainstream ministry in business or so on and so forth who um we just feel that is good we are aware you can communicate through um our PR department, our helpline, so that we are where you are coming. And then um, because of the crowds, we are still working on ways to be able to manage the size of the people that will be coming um, so that we don't leave um, a senior man of God maybe just standing lost somewhere in the crowd just to give honor. Um, but then it is still all right if you feel you just want to sneak in and sit down. Sometimes these rituals can interrupt your receiving. There are people who receive better when they are lost in the crowd. Sometimes this unnecessary honor can distract you and then you don't really receive anything. But please let us know. And if you are aware of any one of such people coming, you can meet the protocol department or our public relations department and let us know. Praise the Lord. And then for... Um, Mukhtar's wedding, sorry I'm bringing it here we had um, suggested shortly in venues but everything will be happening in Blue Roof just for you to be aware everything, the service, reception everything will be there once, I will just do it once and for all praise the Lord are we ready for tonight? please pray, open my eyes and grant me understanding open my eyes grant me understanding Let me see, let me know, let me understand. Are you praying? Father, open my eyes. I have come to see, I have come to understand. Hallelujah. Growth and, um, and development, whether it is spiritual, whether it is physical, any process that has to do with the transition of a man from one realm to another never occurs by default. Please take note. This, this is just to establish something before we get to the word. That means that it is not possible. Physics tells us that our work on earth tells us that, that the only thing that grows automatically is your age. Every other thing must be engaged to grow. You don't have to do anything to add to your age. Once you are alive and the time comes, the year recycles, you are plus one. Ready or not? 
but every other thing your spiritual life please listen your relevance your understanding your transformation every other dimension of your life must be engaged for growth to be possible that means that if this gentleman becomes a higher and a better version of himself you cannot say it happened by mistake are we together if saul becomes paul and is mightily used by god it's not just that god chose him uh -uh. that growth and that transition happened because he engaged certain truths i will continue to drum it in this house why because you see the principles that make for growth for impact and for success are finite please understand this the principles that make for growth for impact and for success are finite they are principles you can piece together and say these are the keys that make for it it is our pursuit of god and our pursuit of knowing him that is infinite are you getting what i'm saying now we will never exhaust the knowledge of god but as far as the principles that make for kingdom relevance that make for our usefulness the principles are finite this should be good news for someone because it then means that i can allocate time and know these things so that the only thing that remains in my life is seeking and knowing god no longer learning principles a time should come in your life where your entire time is spent in fellowship and growth with god not trying to be sure whether this is the key to this and that no and this is what by the grace of god god is helping us achieve in this place if you believe that the principles of the kingdom are haphazard or they are so infinite are we together the principles that make for our relevance as far as this dispensation is concerned please listen to me they are captured in this truth and they are finite they are finite that means that you can collect them that body of information and study them and know that as far as these dimensions are concerned god has helped you it is not when you will or if you will arrive is when you will arrive at that point your life is reduced to worship and praise your learning is god your subject is god not prosperity are we together not how to parent children not how to succeed not how to engage restoration not how to speak peace it's a cause if your entire life is spent trying to learn these things because god as a subject is worth your lifetime all of these auxiliary things about god that we study is to be able to give us the convenience to clear these distractions so that we can now focus ourselves on him and his glory are you getting what i'm saying now yes. you will never be able to centralize your pursuit on god and him alone when there are all kinds of distractions in your life children here different things happening in your life and you don't know what spiritual law to engage it will distract you all these things are the things around god they are not god they are his ways my phone is not me it's around me you can learn how to use my phone it doesn't mean you know me are we together now so we must trust god for grace accelerated grace to be able to capture these things establish their results in our lives and then you are reduced to a point where as far as your personal work is concerned it is god only god ever 
Are we together? It was a preacher that taught us. He says, of reading many books, there is no end. And he says, much learning is a weariness to the flesh. Then he says, this is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commands. He said, this is the whole duty of man. Let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Not that he bought a car, not that he bought a house. Are we together? Not that he raised children well. All of these things are important. But let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, you must trust God for grace and quick understanding. Isaiah 11 and verse 2. Quick understanding. You can understand late. It's still not a blessing understanding will bless you if it is quick because everything in life is time tagged you don't have all the time spending all my life learning about money learning about greatness learning about leadership as important as those things are you will find out that nothing will be left to really seek god if our generation does not learn this, we will be a generation full of principles and no encounter. We will have principles of A, B, and I teach you principles all the time. But the principles are supposed to help you stabilize so that you reduce yourself back to the point where you are no longer bothered about what to eat, what to wear, how to be great. The principles are finite now you can focus on him he becomes your object he becomes your pursuit he becomes your everything this is the place of power this is the place of true relevance because let me tell you this everything in your life minus the knowledge of God will still leave that vacuum you know many people think that the moment you make a lot of money or you become very famous or you become all of these things minus god you will still be able to go around because we say those in the world there are people who don't love god and yet they are rich you need to hear their honest confession to see how irritating life can be without god god designed man to be frustrated without him it's his design is part of his intelligence he designed it to be impossible to be fully fulfilled if he's not in that factor that equation so when someone tells you i'm doing well without god that person is a liar i'm telling you it's only a matter of time riches can deceive they are important you see how many of you have seen little children and you buy a bicycle for your child your child will enjoy that bicycle even the injury will not matter but two weeks later, you see that bicycle in the rain. He has exhausted it and it's all right. That's how life is without God. You can get a certificate and be happy. And after five years, the same thing you laughed at, you now hate it. Because it seemed not to give you what you thought it would produce. Then you turn your pursuit to something else, finance. And then you press through and make all the money and ignore God. And then for a while, you are happy because you are buying properties. And you can now be at the priority level of living. And then very soon you will find out that things cannot be God. Hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Please listen. Then you can choose to replace things with people. Like a husband. Like a wife. Like children. Like physical earthly relationships and they will bless you for a long time except for the fact that the jealousy of god preserved a dimension only his size can feel hmm. no matter what else in your life you bring i tell you this it will take time but you will know that life without god is not living you're all i want You're all I ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know you are 
listen let me tell you how God trains us when you start your spiritual journey it is God then when you know a bit about him he will help you to know his ways and the end of your life should be like the beginning back to God so it is God but then he gives you the things that pertain to life him godliness but he knows that somewhere along the line your children need to go to school you need to eat so he will delve from him he's still there but the focus for many years will be his ways and many times we forget we forget that his ways is not the ultimate you search the scriptures for in them you think you will find life and you will not come to me say the scriptures testify a way leads to somewhere so when all is said and done with the cars and the fame and the accolades and everything god says i kept my part five years of your life i didn't bother you so much again here and there you had encounters but now that you know my ways now that you are not thinking about money again now that you know what it takes to raise your children can i have my time back and he said, Lord, I became famous on my way and I found out that my fame is better than this, this, this me and you. I, I started in innocence, but as I continued, I found out that there was fame on the way. And now I'm no longer interested in you. That's what happens to a lot of people. Even learning the ways of God as the ultimate pursuit is still not the perfect strategy the ways of god are important but at the back of your heart please hear me the end of your spiritual journey must still be the way you started in the beginning god in the end god that's what it means to be alpha omega so right now we are in a season where you no longer may be having the dreams you used to have again remember those times it was not about principle or anything you were not seeing any attack it was just all of those encounters and it seems to be suspended for a while to allow you to be relevant within the context of your it's not backsliding he's showing you his ways sometimes some of you will still go back and say lord i want it before he says i know i'm waiting for you at the other side so that means if you focus on knowing his ways is proof that you really want to meet him fast so that you will finish with these matters and it will give you room to say lord i'm done i didn't know that i can be established fast by the grace of god i do not have to cry for what to eat again i'm not coming to you complaining about an attack i've conquered that i have found the keys that give me victory lord i am here with you for fellowship what do you want son you you give me you everything else can wait give me you i hope i'm not too late lord give me you lord give me you lord give me you lord, It is not only being an unbeliever that can keep you away from God. Lack of quick understanding can keep you away from God. You will be close to him, but not with him. You are around him learning everything. Imagine that I come to your house and all I keep doing is going to your kitchen. I can eat your yam. It's your yam, but it's not you. I can go and use your restroom. I can even drive your car. I will leave your house saying I met you is a lie. I didn't meet you. I met the things around you. Those things are called conveniences. When you go to see a guest, you don't go there to eat. But then in seeing that guest, sometimes before he arrives, they will serve you. Does it happen to you? They will say, okay, this, what would you like? Sometimes they will even call you to a table. If you get carried away by the buffet and you sit there and forget that there is a meeting, You've spent three hours there. It was just supposed to solve your problem. So that when you spend that time seeing him, hunger will not distract your concentration. God knows that it's better to serve him in your house than a rented apartment. 
So in as much as you start there, you say, son, let me show you my ways. Not to compete you with Bill Gates. It's a foolish agenda. It's a purposeless, kingdomless agenda. There is no glory to God competing with Bill Gates. Well, that's not your assignment. Your assignment is to rise to a point where the ways of God are mastered so that you reduce sky. Look, my brothers and my sisters, listen to what I'm teaching you. The ways of God are powerful. But if you stay there, you will not know God. And at the end of it, you will live your life in a void that will frustrate you. I asked for children. You gave me children. I asked for a job. You gave me a job. Listen, I asked for promotion. You gave me promotion. I asked to be a celebrity. And you took me to the nations. I asked for money. You gave me money. I asked for dollars. You gave me dollars. I asked for revelation. You gave me revelation. Listen, I asked for word of knowledge. You gave me. I asked for miracle power. You gave me. And then after all of that, God steps back. Different from everything you've had. And say, I'm still here. And many times we say, Lord, do I really need you again? Do I need you? Whatever I cannot do, I can outsource. I have the influence. Hmm. And God stands back and says, was this all I meant to you? Yes, it is true that I am the way, but I am not only the way. The way is how you start. It should lead you to life. It's a person. The passion with which many people and the slow rate of spiritual transformation is becoming dangerous. It's one thing to be in ignorance, but it's another thing to transit slowly. Time is running and time is fixed. The next 20 years of your life, if you are still learning what you are learning now, is no longer a blessing. Imagine a man of 45 years in primary school. Say, I can make it. There's, yes, you can make it. There's nobody that says you cannot make it. But you will be sleeping while they are teaching because your body does not expect you to be at that level. While they are teaching the children, spell uh, this and that and that, you will be a nuisance to the people and it will not be your fault. Let me tell you this. The prayer for speed is a real prayer. Most believers pray for speed because they have a passion to make a statement. Either to loved ones, let people in my family know I am this. As good as that is, it's not a very valid reason. Speed. That God can establish a man early. 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 What is the purpose of delay? Something, an effect on your time. Not you. Your time. I hope you realize that all Satan is really interested in is your time. So he uses you to do something to your time. Are we together? The ways of God are very important, but the ways of God is not God. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. I am Alpha Omega. Why am I sharing this? Because we are in the face of our lives now when we should focus on learning the ways of God first. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many believers who think that every time we teach on the principles of the kingdom, it, it should be encounters all the way. No, you'll be frustrated. The matters that pertain unto life will hit you and will derail you. No matter who you are, it's not something you can do anything against. You may be wicked to yourself, but when you watch your children ask you questions you cannot answer, it will dry down your life. You see a lot of people will tell you, in 1995, I was the prayer secretary of so, so so fellowship. And right now, the person is not even born again. He said, God was not there for me. 
I served God, but now when it had to do with God blessing my own family, he left me. And God said, no, you didn't understand the sequence. It starts with me. Then at a point, I step back to let you learn my ways so that you can obtain the things that need to give you the freedom and the liberty to return back to me. Occasionally, these things can distract you. That's why retreats are powerful. Because they take you back. And that presence and that atmosphere, once again, God says, I'm still here. Woe betides a man who spends his whole life chasing things, things, things. To look for a car for a lifetime is not an achievement. That at the end of your life, if I say, what did you get? I have five estates, 21 degrees, 30 children, eight wives, chieftaincy titles, traveled around the nation, and God is just waiting for his name, and he's not in the equation of your destiny. That's what many of our loved ones did. They started with God, but when God was calling them to learn his ways, they thought it was the devil. And they casted God away and said, Lord, I will keep learning your ways. And hunger forced them to leave God, to get back, to learn his ways. And the spirit of revelation was not there. And so their pace is slow. And right now they've been 40 years trying to learn how to be rich. 40 years trying to learn how to be leaders. 40 years trying to learn how to be great. So when you say, let's, let's spend time worshiping God. Let's spend six hours praying. The person looks at you and says, are you stupid? Six hours praying. What am I telling God? All that I've been telling him, is he not listening to? It doesn't make sense to invest that kind of time when you are hungry. When you are starting out, God will allow it for a reason. You notice how great ministries start. They usually start with these moments of encounter. That's how we started. You understand? God will not tell you anything about money, marriage, children, prosperity, increase, influence, ministry, ethics, greatness. Leave all of that. It's just him. People coming back with dreams, visions of heaven, encounter, and so on and so forth. But where many people miss it is they do not sustain the intelligence to observe the transitions. Listen, prayer groups listen, ministries listen. This is where we miss it. Because many times we think just because God is the object of the pursuit. When he now tells you, start learning my ways. Sometimes you can say, Lord, I don't need it. Because of the excellency of his presence and he understands. That's why how you are mentored matters. There is a pattern of growth. This is what is happening to some of us right now. You got born again since 95 and the only thing in your life now is that you know God. Right now, you are not even sure you know God again. Why? Because you suddenly discovered that while you were serving God, when you started, somebody was giving you a harvest, whether you sowed a seed or not. And now you've been left alone. The reality of being the breadwinner of your family will not even allow you to spend time with God. And Satan likes it so. That's why you hear people say, I used to be on fire before I got married. And this foolish husband or this stupid wife that I've married is the reason why I no longer can love God. No. You used to spend time worshipping God, but now you have to dedicate 10 years of your life giving birth to children. 10 years is not 2 days. 10 years taking care of the children. You just sense that presence you used to send when you were in secondary school. And here's your baby crying too with the presence. And God says, attend to the baby. Oh Lord, but that sweet face. Mm -mm. Attend to the baby. If you attend fast, you will have time with me. But if you, if you pay the price and leave that baby, he will force you to leave me tomorrow. Listen to me. It is not error when God switches you to learn his ways. Hear me. Hear me, believers. It is not error when God just, he does not take himself out of your life, but he focuses you on his ways to say, learn this. You need it. You need it for your daily bread. 
you will encounter things that will bring delay in your life. So my son, buy a book on restoration. Add it to your spiritual archives. You will need it tomorrow. You will be attacked by the devil. You must learn the principles of warfare. And for four months, all you who all is just worship and God says, you will not even get a new song as a worshiper. Worshiper. Four months, no new song. And God is teaching you on warfare. And the devil can say, I hope you are not backsliding. God says, no, the songs will come when you give me time. But for now, is it not with money you will buy the keyboard? Learn what will help you set up the studio and you can lie down there alone without a landlord knocking your door. So Satan comes as an angel of light and says, have you stopped seeking God to seek things? And that guilt will turn you back and time is going. I am telling you that voice that looks spiritual is Satan masquerading as an angel of light using the regalia of religion to stop you from learning the ways of God. Many of us would have been better spiritually now but because sincerely so, you wanted to seek God but you just, I, I, this business seminar and business seminar, prayer retreat, choose one is a prayer retreat. The Holy Spirit said go there for the business. But Lord I'm used to spending time at the back of my, my house is this not backsliding? And he says, no, I'm the one guiding you. And sometimes religion will draw you away. And then when those who were in that business session are now rolling on the floor, you will be around trying to look for who to help you. And your wife looks at you and says, what kind of God did you serve? That's the question many people are asking in our families. You were a reverend for 30 years. How did God work with you? That your life is such a failure. And the result is to blame God. This is what we say. Lord, you failed me. Lord, you failed me. I spent 20 years giving my life for you. 20 years. So you begin to love God and worship God every day. And then sooner or later, all those visions of the presence begin to diminish. And then God begins to say, sweetheart, it's time for you to start learning how to be a wife and a mother. Lord, let, let carnal things not distract me. I need your presence. God says, yes, he's a gentle spirit. But don't forget that you are going to get married. Learn the principles. And you say, no, 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 no. I don't need to. Your presence will give me everything. You say, yes, it's my presence that is now recommending my ways to learn. And that person will be a worshiper and a prayer warrior for many years until marriage comes. Then she gets married and the man returns by 6 o'clock. Sweetheart, where are you? And there's a song playing in the other room. And then the man says, what are you doing? Say, his presence. That's, that's, all, that's all I desire. So why did you marry me? Listen carefully. And then you now say, this man is a devil. He's out to destroy my life. And Satan says, thank you for giving me a jackpot in this family. He will wreck that family to pieces. The ways of God are his wisdom to guide you so that you can settle the things that pertain unto life. And then you can focus on him. I thank God for giving me this understanding. I am obsessed with balance. I've taught you again and again. Imbalance is as destructive as error and ignorance. This ministry, by the grace of God, we are where we are by the privilege of God's grace because of the understanding to navigate these seasons. I will never forget, Ejimisian, uh, he will testify. You know, because of the way God started those days with me and, you know, you know, all those that were there, a time came when God started teaching me these things. Even me, myself, I felt guilty. Because all I wanted was his presence. I would go in the night browsing Jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence. Enter in a cafe with my fluffy disc. If I see anything that looks like Shekinah on an ark, I'm downloading it. I don't even want to know whether he's talking about, just download it. And then a time came when in a very strange way, the passion began to diminish. 
I fasted my life and, and said, Lord, what am I doing wrong that I'm not getting this? And the Spirit of God told me, it's now time to learn the ways of God. I remember when I started proposing some of these things. Around those times, you know, I remember I suffered my own share of persecution. A lot of people just began to propose, this guy has backslidden. He didn't start like this. I'm no well, they didn't call me apostle then. I mean, somebody who will pray for hours now is sitting down. You are talking about finances. You are talking about leadership. These things are a sign of backsliding because if you are really, you should be fresh. I agree. And time. There are many people who were born again before that are not even born again again. Hunger will always take Israel to Egypt. It's not the enemies that fight them hunger listen very carefully if i ask all of you right now and i said those who are really trusting god for a job if you know that joblessness is pinching you and paining you and you are angry about what is doing to your spiritual life if i ask you to stand up you'll be you will see those who they will stand up with the attitude you will know they are really angry say lord I've, I've, I've been serving you what is all this one that means something there is affecting your concentration and i have a responsibility to show you the ways of god and to show you fast so that by the grace of god we can spend time and spend our lives mentoring a generation on how to live listen to me there are many things i've said that people have thought was pride some of them are now manifesting today micah chapter 4 is the prophecy for our generation and that's one of the things that God is doing with this ministry. Micah chapter 4 and verse 1. Please give it to us. Thank you. Thank you. Micah chapter 4, please. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established on the top of the mountain and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it. Verse 2. And many nations. How many? nations here don't just talk of countries they talk of systems shall come and say come no invitation no invitation come let us go up to where the mountain of the lord to where the house of the god of jacob that means the place of encounter but we are not going there just for encounter we are going there to carry over a cause we ignored and he will teach us of his ways the God of encounters. We encountered him, but we ignored his ways. But now we see a mountain that has both encounter and his ways. He says, come, he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go forth from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. A day will come when the pride of men will fail them. A day will come when the imbalance of men will haunt them a day will come when the inaccurate spiritual pathway that people are taking will show and god is building an ark and telling you a flood is coming when jesus called the disciples look at how he trained them he called the disciples and started by doing a little introduction of himself then he stopped and started teaching them his ways let's go up the mountain and he teaches them the beatitudes the ways of the kingdom he taught them his ways so much that one day he said who am i who do men say that i am they say thank you because this thing has bothered us too we have learned how to be the light and soul but who are you John was so distracted, he forgot who he was. He didn't know that when you learn his ways, you go back to him. And he was offended. Say, go and ask him, are you the Messiah? Or should we seek another? 
Do you not see that at the end of men's life, when Paul finished knowing his ways and did his exploits, he returned back that I may know him. It's a, it's a principle. Paul did everything. I, I've, I've learned them. He was in the wilderness of Arabia for 18 years. Learned the ways of God. When he was ready, he said, let's go. They killed him. He took himself back to life. And got up and finished everything. And at the end, he said, look, this is it. But Lord, that I may know your ways. Moses was at the backside of the mountain. The progression, an encounter. When he encountered him, God said, take your attention from me. Let's go to your rod now. This is about the wonders you. And Lord, I'm looking at you. Forget about the burning bush. You have seen me. But let me show you what you will do with this rod. And the attention went from the bush to the rod. And he trained him on that rod. He said, now stand up. Leave me. Leave the bush and go somewhere. You will come back. I will meet you again. But for now, he would have stayed there and circled that bush and said, I will die on this bush. Oh, your face, oh Jesus. When Jesus appeared unto Saul of Tarsus, he gave him an encounter. Then he says, go to the house of Judah. Wait there. Someone will come and begin to guide you on the ways of the kingdom. Ananias came and he was filled with the Holy Spirit. His eyes were open and he started learning by revelation. And when he learned at the end of his life that I may know him. John the beloved started like the apostles knowing him. And then later he learned his ways. By the time we get to the end of John's life, it was full of encounters. This is the record that God has given us eternal life. And he begins to talk about the divine life. Then in the Isle of Patmos, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And I saw, I have seen him again. He told me, you will see me again. I will come to you again. You need to know this about the progression of growth. It's a powerful secret. It starts with him. And then when he starts with you, a time comes. He says, now, just knowing my face is not enough to solve the matters that relate to life. Therefore, I will, like like a a preliminary course that you will take in another department for a while if you go to that department and remain there you are supposed to take the course get the knowledge and return back i don't want to spend my life even doing ministry because ministry is not an end is a means to an end the end is him Listen to me. This will help you to know why week after week we continue to dispense the mysteries of the kingdom. And every once in a while you will find out that we will have extreme moments where God's presence will come mightily and just interrupt the service and allow periods of extended worship just to remind us don't be distracted with the ways. And then he will step back again. Let the teaching continue. Those who follow that path are beginning to see certain results in their lives. You can have the luxury today to lock yourself and you and your children can serve the Lord. As for me and my house, he says we will serve the Lord. You will not serve the Lord when you are hungry because a borrower is slave to the lender. The rich will rule over the poor. Please listen to me. Many believers miss it at this point. They start well with God. And then when the Holy Spirit begins to tell them now, it's time for us to move to begin to understand the ways of God. They think sometimes it's an error. No. Why should I buy a book on relationship? I need books on his presence. Why should I buy a book on management? Why should I buy a book on church growth? I need a book on heaven. Mine is just heaven. And God says it's true. But just calm down. Let me show you my ways. Lord, I know you are going to call me. And because of the encounter I'm having, I will have a global ministry. God says potentially that's true. But that global ministry works on systems. Let me teach you something. 
please just amplify. Can you change the sound? I just need something I can hear. Listen. Help us, Holy Spirit. When Joseph came, listen, Joseph was the deliverer of Israel. I hope you know how Joseph delivered Israel. He brought systems that preserved that economy. Is that true? Joseph left them with a prophecy. He said, when you are going out of Israel, carry my bones. He was not just saying, carry my dead bones. The systems that kept you here, carry it along. Don't leave it behind. Bone struck of systems and structure. There was something that happened that gave this thing structure over my leadership. I know God is calling you to go to a land thrown with milk and honey as his own people. But on the way, you will need the knowledge of this. Carry my bones. Carry it. Why, why will you dig a man? It's not because the land was cursed. No. Carry my bones. Carry those structures and those systems. So while you are serving God and you see a book on financial intelligence, don't throw it. Just keep it. A time will come as you are transiting. Let it be part of your library. For now, you are focusing on God. And God, you want to study a book on marriage and God said, no, 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 no. Let's continue the seven days dry fast. It will not always be seven days dry fast. All the movement of heat and cold in your body, it won't happen like that forever. It's a system. You are in a season where he's exposing you to himself. So all your prayer is full of visions. My hands are shaking. My legs have cold and heat. Carry the bones. You will need it. A day will come when the shaking will no longer be there. A day will come when you will not be falling around the way you used to fall before again. A day will come when for a strange reason the strength for 10 hours in prayer will not be there and you will search your heart and it's not backsliding. Remember that God must be the governor and the coordinator of your growth, not religion. You allow men, they will delve you into error, sincerely so. I watch with shock and I watch with pain in my heart the way so many young people, especially in Africa, continue to corrupt this part of growth. They leave Joseph's bones. And when they get to the wilderness, they do not know how to call for bread again. Are we together? This ministry, by the grace of God, runs on systems and structures and it has afforded the opportunity to serve God and serve his purposes I can imagine the level of distraction that would come into my life if all I focused on was just his face and I ignored his ways let me tell you what we would have done by now I would have carried an offering basket and walk around and say I'm hungry I love God have you been blessed by my anointing yes Pastor Alpha, you all of you people here, it's one one million. I'm, I'm, I'm not, it's not as the spirit leads. It's not that I'm bad. This is how we carry over in life. A day will come when your wife will tell you, what kind of a man of God are you? And you will get angry. And all of a sudden, you will start choosing where to go and minister. There's one powerful campus minister. We can campus. How much are the students going to give me? Campus minister to many zealous but broke students. And the spirit of God is saying, I want to birth a revival on that campus. But you look at your pocket, and he says, There is another ministration is, is happening in the US. And I mean the, the, the priority service from Nigeria to US alone is enough to bless you. There's no hearing God again. And all of a sudden you leave those poor people and a revival is destroyed because a man did not understand the ways of God. Imagine that I went to honor ministrations today because of the honorarium they give. It's a terrible thing. You don't have, you will be angry. What of the ones that cannot give you anything? But you know it was the will of God. After you finish preaching, you see what they give you. I say, how much is this? Say it by yourself. How much? Say, sorry, sir. You see, we were able to raise it. You, you see it? And that bitterness will choke the anointing out of your life. 
I'm not just talking the area of finances alone. Have you not seen preachers that resigned from ministry because they could not be able to raise their children well? Sometimes they ignored the children. When God was saying, train up a child, they were hearing that word. They casted it. They were buying worship tapes. Bob Fitz, Don Moen. It's important. Don't get me wrong. And then while they were in the presence, Satan was with the children. That's what happened to the American society. When God teaches people certain things, he said, teach your children, write it. Your children will ask you questions. Make sure you teach them. Are you getting what I'm saying now? This imbalance has punished a lot of us. I've seen men and women of God who organize meetings. And after the prayer and fast, members don't bring money. They only bring vision. Sir, I saw the meeting is success. It is done. And he said, do you know how much the board that is? He said, it is done, sir. I'm telling you, I know what I saw. And he will pray with you and go back. And you stand there and say, God, did you call me or not? And God says, remember seven years ago when I told you to settle down and learn my ways. You criticize me, God, and you criticize everything. And because I respect your will, I said, all right, you continue. And now the deficiency of knowing that way of God is telling on you now. So you are anointed, you have encounters, but you cannot build a church that works because you know nothing about leadership. You thought it was unnecessary until while you are preaching, someone is fetching the money of the church. And you think that God is that dull to have allowed it happen. You're not knowing his ways. Then you find out that you never can be able to have up to 100 members. What is wrong? I'm anointed. I just came back from heaven. Members say, so what? You will continue going to heaven and coming back and finding out that there is no growth. Because something about the system is not there. So when Jesus was born, at age 12 he was in the temple learning learning and then at age 30 he comes to be empowered and begins to do ministry and then he returns back to god from where he came it is god his ways god listen god his ways his ways does not mean you will leave him it doesn't mean you will not pray and you will not fast no but god because you are governed with time you cannot do everything at the pace you started and have the time to it takes time to learn you may pray 10 hours every day an instruction from god for five months but you do that that way you will not have the time for other things so you will find out that god has a system because even that did not happen by your strength and so God helps you. And then you begin to learn. The Holy Spirit says, go to a catering school. Say, God forbid. With all these visions I'm seeing. Until you see that it destroys your life. Son, I need you to learn. I don't want you to, to be an inefficient person. You have to learn the laws of greatness. And you say, Lord, I'm going to the nations. You are not going alone. There are people there and not all of them are born again. So he needs to teach you how to be a sheep among wolves. Lord, I don't care. All I know is that I'm going to be great. Apostle has said it. We will all be great and we all know ourselves. Yes. Yes. It's true. But you must know his ways. So here you are as a born again person. And then you have the opportunity to meet a man, a captain of industry. And you do not know the principles of relationship. You don't know the principles of friendship. You don't know how to translate the reality of God's life to relate to a context. And you stand there. This is an opportunity to not just win a man, but win an industry to Christ. You know him, but you're not knowing his ways. I love Jesus. Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night and says, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. For no man can do these things except God be with him. He would have said, wonderful. 
Nicodemus said, Verily, verily, I mean, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, so on and so forth. And when he led that Nicodemus, do you know that Nicodemus was a secret follower of Jesus? He learned his ways, he shall teach us his ways. Koinonia, hear me. You must understand the way God is training you. Sometimes you see us sit down and for over one or two months, all the emphasis is on finance and the rest. And sometimes I can almost discern that when these teachings are coming, here is the spirit of religion again. Two months, teaching on money. is money everything. We, we need the presence of God. I see the joy on some of your faces as soon as I stand and I say, the Lord is showing me something. And someone is shouting, you know, people that this is koinonia. Now these are koinonia, not this backsliding version. And you keep allowing the spirit of religion. You see, a student does not define the curriculum. No, your job is to sit in the class with your heart open. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Listen, you will thank me for what you are learning. Because you will pastor a people who are balanced. After service, they have cars to go back home. They have houses that they can serve the Lord in. They have influence enough to bless the Lord. Yet in the midst of it, they will roll from pillar to post. Do not allow the spirit of religion destroy your peace. Do not allow the spirit of religion to corrupt you. Do not even allow the biases and the imbalances that we carry as men of God to corrupt the accuracy of your pursuit. There is only one architect who designs this pathway, Jesus himself, the author, the finisher. A lot of people see what God is doing in and through my life around the body of Christ. A man of God asks me and says, Apostle, you are a very strange man. There are different churches that you can go to and minister. How do they accept you? Is it that they don't listen to your message in other churches? For instance, maybe a very conservative church. I can finish a conference there right now. And the very next meeting may not be as conservative as. Is it that they don't know? It's not usual for people to receive guests like that. And I tell them there is something he taught me about the body. It's a mystery. Your results show what you know or you don't know. When the body receives you, there is a grace, there is knowledge that has come. This is what I'm teaching you. So you don't become a Christian that will, because of your imbalance, as a man of God, you join the campaign of fighting every other person too. Who are you for? Paul or Apollos? Are you seeing that now? And many of us have been raised that way, sadly. Oh, I am not this man of God. This one in this country is my papa. This one is my this. This one in my... And you join the campaign of fight. Whereas there is something you can know. And the gates of the body as an entity can be open for you. Is God blessing you? This is what you are learning, my brothers and my sisters. You are learning principles principles i bless the lord for granting me the grace to be the one teaching you this because see if i didn't walk in the anointing it usually will mean that i'm trivializing those things because they are not captured in my life that's why it's powerful to be balanced because your teaching will be believed you have a system of defense for every dimension Hallelujah. Tomorrow, I'm in Mina. Sunday, I'm in Mina. Monday, I'm in Abuja. Tuesday, I'm in Eboi. Wednesday, I'm in Eboi. 
I'm coming back on Thursday. Imagine, let's be honest, in the name of honesty, imagine if I had only two clothes and 10,000 Naira for Chisco Transport. Do you, I, 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 please, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, is this not, I just want you to think sincerely. Do you know how I will be forced to manipulate those people? I will carry the anger of my pain and say something God did not say and preach something God did not preach. Not because I am bad. And then here is the risk. All through the road in the night, 12 hours, you preach back to back 12 hours you are back and then everything starts again it's not a blessing i can tell you it's not a blessing you will never be able to have time to seek the lord imagine that you want to have a bible study and commit yourself and someone is quarreling and they are raising their voices and distracting you you are in a vision you don't even go far you are back because the noise Koinonia, let me tell you what God is making out of your life. You will love what you are becoming. You may not love the training now, but my brothers and my sisters, listen to me. God's integrity is back of what is happening to you. And a day will come, people will look at you and say, Sir, why are you such a man of God? What, what's responsible for the balance and, and the depth of efficiency? And you will tell them, let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength and let the rich man not glory in his riches but let him that glory a glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me my journey starts with god but i'm careful enough to observe the things that he's teaching me that will be responsible for my results and it will recycle time back to help me serve the lord there are times that i prepare an average of 18 to 20 sermons per week 18 to 20 sermons per week aside from specialized sessions and counseling sessions you ignore this that i'm teaching you a day will come you will not have messages again as a man of god And you say it does not matter and then members will leave and you will call it an attack because you do not know the ways of god they know not neither will they understand psalm 82 and verse 5 they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course he said but have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes like you to pray you won't believe that i've not even started my sermon for this night i, I, I didn't even realize that the time had gone but i like you to passionately cry think of your children while you are crying think of those called to your destiny while you are don't be selfish it's about you but not all about you cry to the lord lord i thank you for revealing a dimension of yourself but now that you are teaching me your ways give me the grace to stay give me the grace to stay lord i thought the time that i've been spending in the last two years studying I i've even been afraid why are the visions not coming like before again now i'm learning that it's a season and a phase it's not necessarily proof of backsliding I have come to a point where you are working on me. You are giving me intelligence to be effective. Please pray. Shh. 
ala bakara husa de bala asia harakota sada brande kasi bala hasada bala datus i want to inspire a generation to reflect you correctly sanda baras kada brahas kada bala kotish Abarada kata pros kade balas. Hebron de gade la kato sada brahas my children should not suffer while I seek you. My family should not suffer while I seek your face. It takes time to know you. Oh God, awaken me from slumber so that I can redeem the time because the days are evil. So that I can redeem the time because the days are evil. I don't want to spend my life chasing after mundane things. Chasing after money chasing after power that at the end of your life when you should be seeking him you are now learning his ways they that seek me early early they that seek me early shall find me Hallelujah. The Bible says they are life to those who find them. They are not information to those who find them. They are information to those who hear them. But they are life to those who find them. The kingdom of God is like a pearl that is missing and someone lights a candle and begins to sweep that room and when he finds it the kingdom of God is like a treasure that a man finds gold in a property and goes to sell all he has to buy it there are ways to redeem the time listen let me tell you look at me in the 60s and the 70s nobody People took jobs for granted right from 500 level or 400 level. You could come with jobs. Nobody knew that today will be an information age, a digital age that will replace jobs. So people had the luxury to not focus on some things. But times have changed. And the sons of Issachar, there is a generation of Issachar that had the understandings. The, the fact that God is not doing a thing the way he did 30 years ago does not mean he's, the one, he's not the one doing it. Listen, let me teach you this. For every dispensation, there is a strategy. When Samson, listen, when Samson saw the Philistines, the spirit of the Lord came upon him and he took the jawbone of an ass, a donkey, and he killed all of them. When he killed the Philistines, he looked at the bone and threw it. Why do you throw what works? I just used a strategy and defeated an army and yet I'm leaving it to wait for another one. Many of us will hold that bone and idolize it. And even when the bone has no life again, you will keep moving with it. One time he will tell you, let the people go through the water. Other times he will tell you, stand still. There is always a strategy for every generation. Don't borrow a strategy that is not applicable. Joshua had to wait. What is the strategy to bring down Jericho? And he said, this one is not about warfare. Let the priests lead the way. This is the strategy. There are times that the men of war would lead the way. There were times it was not just the priest, the worshippers. What is the strategy for this generation? Do you know? Or do you believe it's the same strategy for everyone? It's a joke. 
God who in sundry times and diverse manners spake to us through the fathers hath in these last days, in these last days, spoken to us through his son, whom he has appointed to be heir over all things. So there was a time in sundry times and diverse manners. He used a strategy, but in these last days, there is a strategy. Just because a strategy worked does not mean God is interested in using it again. Give us this day. Not give us once and forever. Give us this day. For every day there will be a strategy. Oh, Elijah, for a while it will be at Brook Cherith. That's the strategy for your survival. Position yourself at Brook Cherith and a raven will come. But the, the, the brook is dried up. Elijah, hear the word for another strategy. Otherwise, you would die at Brook Cherry, whereas God has relocated your blessing through another strategy. You held the jawbone of an ass. It killed in 1960. It killed in 1970. But the arsenals of hell changed their strategy. And we refused to go back. Because we learned the principles very slowly. And we ignored the presence many people are applying principles that do not have a corresponding power in the realm of the spirit that is why the results do not show i remember the time and i say this respectfully so when god told me i want to open your eyes to see the key to church growth i had not seen it i am look let me tell you something i have studied the largest churches in every continent with all humility the day i saw it i said this is it not the church growth of the fathers the church growth of the future the way they built the tabernacle in the wilderness was not the way they built solomon's temple the strategies are different the goal is that he inhabits them but the patterns are different listen to me if you get what i'm teaching you you will be blessed there are people generations past could ignore certain things but there are generations that if you ignore certain things in the 60s and 70s you could see a a trader keep banana or something and not even be there you will carry the banana put it in the leather and drop the money there but he says the times he says the days are evil are we together now You couldn't have somebody just come and cheat you and betray you and stab you for nothing because the pressure to make for that is not there. But the hardship of men has helped them to invent wickedness. Didn't the Bible tell you that the end times will be like the days of Noah? What characterized the days of Noah? Wickedness multiplied. And so you need the strategy. You carry the naivety of decades past. And you find out that you are on you are unfruitful to the church. Listen, let me tell you this. I will use names respectfully and honorably. Papa Ia Deboye represents the face of a generation. Are we together now? He represents God and a dimension of his workings to a generation. If I go to Papa Ia Deboye's generation, no matter, I've, I've ministered many, many times in those circles, and no matter how powerful my ministration is, the people love me, but they may not listen to my messages because David served his generation. Are we together? Even if I cut promises head and carry it and put it back, are we together now? It will never stop anybody from crowding and camping around redemption camp. I went for a conference recently and we had to route through another way because two major ministries were having a regular meeting and the entire road was blocked. It was a strategy for that generation. Everyone that caught the strategy, the results have to show. There are others who passed and didn't get it. It's very clear they didn't get it. So we must stand like Habakkuk I will stand upon my watch and I will set myself upon the tower God what are you saying for my generation what is the strategy for survival what is the strategy for survival there were no Facebooks 
to criticize a man of God those days. But now, oh God, that is easy for darkness to attack a man. What is the strategy? Hmm. Are we together now? Yes. People were a lot more loyal in the times of our parents and our time. They can love a man no matter what is right or wrong. But our generation is a vocal generation. A lawyer can stand up and say you are stupid for thinking we are idiots. He will listen to you and after service he will analyze your message and sue you to court. Because you abuse my privacy. There were certain levels of um, being raw and outspoken that our fathers could afford in their generation. You try it now, you will die because you are speaking to nations they had the luxury to say certain things in certain ways you are not bending the truth you are receiving a strategy because you are speaking to people who are global in context and you must be able to translate divine realities to make meaning to a generation you can't talk to everybody as if you are talking to those who are in your locality when Jesus came and found an agrarian society, he converted the realities of the kingdom into agricultural terms to relate to the then civilization and they understood. Listen to me. Ministry is not just about the anointing. There is a skill. There is a science. There is a psychology for effective ministry. It's much more than just having the ability to do an exegesis of scripture. It's a combination of many factors playing behind the scene. People don't just love you because you are telling the truth. Mm -mm. It is not just truth itself that saves. It is how it is presented. You can serve me water. Please help me with this. There are two ways to serve me water. Here is one way. Apostle, please take water and drink. You serve me water. The water is not wrong. But I will hate you because of your service. You did not serve it to present honor. You can do this to a footballer. In the football field. And he will not be angry. It's the ethic of it. In fact, the skill of receiving it will be an accolade. But now when you come to me. And you carry this and throw it. The same thing you did in the field that they clap for you. You do it here. They will curse you. You must understand the intelligence that comes with territory and systems. Oh dear, this is not a pastor's conference. Please sit down. In the name of Jesus, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. The spirit of this prayer and fasting is upon me. Ah. Second Peter chapter 1. Jesus. You know, sometimes when I come looking, which one do I omit? And which one just boils in my spirit? And I'm looking, which one do I omit? And which one do I say? Because I truly, truly want you to get it. Many of you will have churches in the future. You will see how exceptional your churches will be. Yes, yes, yes. The grace that is upon you is, is too much for a member. No, God is training you. I mean, no, 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 no. This is not the grace that just keeps you. You are representing a nation and a territory. So you are listening for the sake of nations that might not be hearing now. Second Peter 1, help us Holy Spirit. Verse 2. Let me just tie up something and we'll pray this night. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord. Verse 3. Read with me. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things. Stop. Read it again and stop at things. Ready? One, two, read. One more time. So, let's reverse it. All things are given unto us 
according or by his divine power listen carefully all things are delivered to the saints how faith is only a connector to his divine power the system that makes for reception in the kingdom is the agency of his divine power as powerful as faith is faith is like a funnel are we together the funnel connects the container and the one you want to put under so that's what faith does faith in itself does not produce miracles does not produce breakthrough are we together faith you know is just your conviction and the action you take to validate that conviction are we still together so the bible says according as his divine power let's walk this a little tonight that means there are results if i see arrive your life the agency that made it so regardless of what principle you obeyed the principle only made way for his divine power if his divine power cannot be released there is no performance i don't know if you get what i'm saying yes let me give you an illustration look up please everyone what is inside this bottle water I, I hope you know that there are different ways to package water. Are we together? Now, let me interpret this. Every time you are thirsty, what quenches the thirst is water. How it comes may be different. Are we together now? Yes. It can be packaged in a bottle. It can even be packaged in, in you know, all kinds of ways. But if at all your thirst is quenched, the factor that quenched it is water. The bottle that brought it and the system of packaging is not the issue. Is that the central factor that quenches test is what? Water. So the Bible says, thank you. According as his divine power. Listen carefully. His divine power does not give some things. It gives what? That means you need to study what the Bible tells you gives all things according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertains unto life and godliness that means if i am not obtaining i am not engaging something that makes available his divine power listen 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 if i prosper his divine power hath given me prosperity there's a set of kingdom principles i engage but then when I engage them, what will come is still his divine power. In physics, we teach that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. I'm helping you prepare for jam tomorrow. <laughs> for those of you who are writing jam, you'll be surprised to find out that that's your first question. <laughs> Are we together now but that it can be converted from one form to another are we are we together on that that means every time you see any manifestation of energy it is the same energy it is just different forms of it that the same electricity can turn to power this and then can produce sound here that means if i hear sound energy made it so if this fan is turning energy I, I i get i get what i'm saying now and so regardless of what results you are looking for his divine power the way you engage his divine power for different situations may differ but that the factor that is responsible for giving the saints all things is his divine power the more of his divine power that works in me, the more the possibility of obtaining all things become in my life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Follow me carefully. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians chapter 3, please. Spiritual understanding. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 popular scripture look up please and let's read it's projected one two read 
stop who is the him god so who has the ability god's ability is not in doubt now unto him who is able to do uh-huh abundantly above all that we ask or think stop he's about to introduce a condition that can make all what he just said to happen or not and the condition is according to the power that walks not lives not dwells according to the power that walks not according to the power that lives in us the possibilities are not according to the power that you possess. It is the dimension of the power that is released. The power that walks, not the power that lives, not the power that resides. Listen to me. That's why we can have the same power. We can have the same anointing and our possibilities are different because of the power that walks, not the power that is in you. now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that walketh 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 the power that is engaged the power that is produced in us are we together we can have the same holy spirit but the power that is released through sister A, brother A, may differ. Hence, they are actualizing the possibilities that God said would be. Many times I have found out the issue is really not more power. It is the grace and the understanding to activate the power that resides within you. They did not need to go and bring new bread a new fish something was done and that in itself was enough are you getting what i'm saying now please understand this it is according to the power that worketh in us according to the power not lives in us if god spoke that way it would be unfair because the same lord is rich unto all are we together we have been made to drink of the same spirit but the dimension to which we have released the power of God and the investment of the spirit within us differ. This is the difference. So my possibilities and your possibilities may differ. The factor is not God. The factor may not even sometimes be the anointing. It is, I have done something to make a greater room for the power to not just live, but to walk in and through me. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So the power that we allow to find expression through us determines the possibilities that come. And there are many ways to make the power work in us. That's why we are spending these seven days to give room. I'll just tell you two quickly and we'll pray. One way that you can cause the power to be at work in you is through enlightenment and transformation the power of god is limited to your belief system your paradigm i've taught you this according to the power that works that works that works i've given this example here some of our fathers great fathers of faith who lived in the 40s 50s and 60s many of them were heavily anointed but because some of them did not go to school some of them could not speak many languages are we together the limitation in their mindset did not allow the power of god invested in them to be fully manifest now those fathers as crude as they were they now anointed other younger people with an enlightened mind with intelligence and you see the potential manifesting enlightenment and transformation is one way to activate the power that works within you there are possibilities that will never find expression until they pass through an enlightened mind
We'll soon pray. Come, Sam. Please look up, everybody. Sam, in this example, is a mighty prophet of God with a great prophetic grace. But Sam is not so enlightened in this example. Are we together? So his understanding of the word is very, very small. Or there's nothing there. And then his general enlightenment in terms of knowledge, in terms of the knowledge about life is small. We both have the same anointing. You are going to see that the possibilities that flow forth from our lives will be very different in spite of the fact that the same Lord is rich unto all. Are we together now? Let me give you an example. Two of you, please come stand. Let's assume that this gentleman and lady uh, husband and wife are we together now the lord is revealing to me watch this now sam can come as a prophet the divine power is at work in him and sam can see a horn on this girl's head what did he see and he can see fingers like that of a witch this is what his vision is telling him there is no enlightenment to properly translate what he's seeing to the edifying of the people. So he will announce it from the limitation of his mindset. His sight was correct, but the divine power is limited. And he, can, he will just say, Madam, you are a witch and you are a devil. Oga, you married a witch and you've been smiling. Why will your business move forward? And he can even recommend that the way forward is what? This guy has misrepresented what God can do. God can do better than that. But because he is anointed but not enlightened, there is so much power in him, but very little is working. Are you getting that now? The only power that is allowed to work is the power to see. The power to interpret is not allowed. Because enlightenment did not activate it now this guy is still a prophet of God but he will keep destroying marriages in his church for instance are we together now now stand again I have the opportunity to now prophesy and I'm not only anointed I am enlightened meaning that I understand the systems and the ways of God are we together the moment I see a horn on this precious lady listen I know that there is a difference between bewitching there is a difference between being a witch and there is a difference between being manipulated by darkness when i see this my understanding helps me to interpret it well and so i know that the problem is not this lady she may be connected to something territorial that god is trying to show me so i separate the influence from the person now more of god's power and possibilities can now flow by reason of my enlightenment and by so doing, I can set this lady free. Are we together now? And then I can redeem this family. Still yet, I can even be more enlightened. And after I deliver them, I know that there is a dimension of deliverance that is not conducted. It is preached. It's called deliverance through knowledge. It is not enough for this lady to be delivered from the spirit influences. I've taught you this she must be reoriented to understand the ways of God to know who she is in Christ to help her understand the principles that make for victory three approaches same anointing his divine power he's able to do this according the power lives in us but how much of it works in you that will determine your result so when your mind expands more of the power of god can flow through you many times people come to me and they say apostle more anointing i say what exactly are you looking for say result i say do you really believe that if i pray for you they don't even listen they say yes sir just just do it and i say mm -hmm. how many people prayed for you a b c d did anything change no that means that you are like a tap that has refused to open they connected you to a dam but you have limited the water to come by drops are you seeing that now so you are wondering why a bucket has not been full even after two weeks because the water is limited to the opening if I can help you open the more you can fill the same bucket you don't have to change the reservoir 
that expansion and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped that's why we need enlightenment just because we are spiritual does not mean we ignore enlightenment you can see how for instance god saves this marriage otherwise if this enlightenment is not there and i don't interpret it well this man will go you, do you think will you eat your wife's food if you hear that kind of blind prophecy with no interpretation and then she brings all kinds of things fish fish mermaids with fish say you now brought the one from the sea for me this night you would have even brought cow or something we continue to make a fool of god's power because the enlightenment that makes that power a blessing is the same thing like power coming from nepa or nitel are we together and then you have a wire just caught and somebody just touches it it was not channeled properly and so it is not controlled well this is it you can be a pastor heavily anointed but because of the low level of your enlightenment the power of god may not be able to flow did you know let me tell you something many dimensions of the spirit of god that is at work in my life is at work in the life of many people especially young ministers around and people hate them because there is the same anointing the interpretation and the system of dispensing that power has been refined through enlightenment so that i can let the power of god flow in a meeting and i can let it flow in a way and manner that relates to the thinking of that ministry hmm. there are people who are very intellectual and seeing the power of god flow like that may create a lot of controversy and so you need to come like paul from the standpoint of a scribe and a pharisee the anointing will have to follow the channel of knowledge you are going to have to conv to convince them by the soundness of theology and scripture that becomes the host by which that power flows they are able to receive it because the depth of your balance and your theological exegesis will keep them in awe and they will know that whoever must have received this level of intelligence this power must be of god notice how paul made his defense from city to city when he met ignorant people he just said this idol is the god you are looking for when he met intelligent people he said no don't call i'm a pharisee i'm a pharisee i'm learned everybody say enlightenment it's very important you don't go to talk to a team of business experts and and entrepreneurs and great people around and you just stand and say don't worry just use your heart right now as i'm speaking somebody is going to shout don't worry you will not understand you are unfruitful they will drive you out of that place you are anointed but you are short-circuiting the power because enlightenment has not allowed a greater dimension of the power to work in you are we together the second way you can allow this to happen is through prayer and fasting thank you prayer and fasting is a system that among other things principally deals with the issue of unbelief but it can expand your capacity in the spirit it is true it is true the disciples could not cast out a certain epileptic spirit and jesus told them this kind that means there are many kinds this kind go ahead not accept listen listen don't argue with jesus this kind go ahead not but by prayer and fasting there were certain people who bound themselves and said they will not eat until paul died prayer and fasting there are, there are spiritual strategies that can allow more of the power of god that is resident within you to be activated and to be at work in you when a man sets himself to pray and fast it's not just starvation my brothers and sisters hear me there is no man i know or woman of god that is being mightily used by god with genuine power genuine power genuine power that is not a student of fasting and prayer it's a joke
there are certain spiritual loads you cannot carry until that stamina is there oh god give me give me and god says this thing will drop and crush you into pieces but when you get to the place of prayer and fasting it's like walking out you may not know the changes are happening to you but you just continue so while you are praying and you are fasting you are praying and you are fasting many things are happening and then you will see that there is grace you may not even know until the day you go for a meeting and they say brother can you come and share in this fellowship and you come as a brother your name is about to change you just stand and say can we all rise up to pray and you find out that people cannot stand up again what happened his divine power god is saying you have given me more space now see what that more space can do let me tell you this when i started out in ministry we're going to pray i noticed that certain sicknesses and diseases will never go I never got testimonies in those areas. It bothered me for a while. I said, God, what is this? There are gifts of healing. Yes, I studied all of them. T.L. lost born. And at a point in time, I studied, I studied, you know, classifications of sicknesses. I studied all kinds of rabbinical writings, 39 straps on Jesus, 40 less one. I studied them and this thing was not working. Pregnant women were never getting pregnant. If I prayed, even me, I knew they wouldn't get pregnant. Yet I was anointed. How can people be falling under the anointing and certain possibilities were not coming? I said, Lord, what is the key? And then God called me and said, the anointing is there, but your capacity is small. I said, I know the key. You would think you are not doing anything. You just continue. You are expanding your capacity. A day will come, you will look at that woman. Whereas you would have prayed before as if you are fixing the tire of a car sweating around a pregnant woman to get her pregnant if this thing is not there it's not there jesus looks at the epileptic patient and rebukes a deaf and dumb spirit and it's done so we can be singing praise and worship in this place and this brother is sitting on a wheelchair and i come man of god man of signs and wonders just because you saw one or two things in a crusade ground you don't vet your capacity just say, in, in my name they shall cast out devils and you even have the effrontery to tell the man uh, you think you are get beautiful do you know how long these guys were coming up from the hour of prayer not not from from lunch the hour of prayer and you would call the name of Jesus and say stand up and they are already clapping for you in advance and you lift the guy and he's shaking walk the guy say, I'm that good. will I lie and you just say sit down quietly let me tell you what went wrong please believe me it is never the power of God it is that the level of grace and anointing that needs to flow to correct that thing your capacity cannot carry it now many men of god will not be humble enough to receive this thing they will say this guy doesn't have faith it's a lie it's a lie i always take responsibility for miracles that don't happen and then as i began to stay with god the more i started seeing certain possibilities newer testimonies and cases I remember one of the most frustrating one was this HIV thing that thing would not go at all and the people who always tell test themselves and let me know so it's still there oh. of course will, will the people lie and I got tired I said no something there has to be something wrong see let me tell you when you love God and love people you will not excuse lack of results they will draw you back to the secret place and I began to pray I began to pray I said Lord there has to be a way and the Lord let me know there are many factors but the anointing is there my son but the capacity is small you have eaten away some space huh yes the power is flowing 
and food just stands like a customs officer and the power cannot flow but by the time you trust God for grace to scatter the walls of gluttony and open up your capacity you will not even know that that case is represented in your meeting while there was a time I didn't just used to speak upon people and it will happen this creative dimension of the prophetic it was not there it was not intentional the results were not repeatable many men of God will not open up to you like this and share with you what I'm saying because everybody has his reputation I would speak to someone people would come and I cannot remember talking to them because I'm not I didn't even expect it to happen I just spoke at random maybe one minor case that was under your grace was quickly answered but you get to a point where you can tell him go I know you will come back with a testimony my brothers and my sisters it is not the mouth is the spirit is the capacity this is what demons see when demons look at you they don't see your head your shoulders your knees or your toes they see your spirit man the largeness of your heart you may look tiny physically but boy they see what is there and you make one decree and you open up doors I thank God for the grace to do that today and I thank God for the levels that we continue to press because in this school you never graduate you just move higher and higher the day you graduate you you, you plateau there and you go down when I have the privilege to pray with people I didn't like praying with people before I like praying alone with God but not praying with people because of the frustration the results were there but they were not many just like it's happening to some of you. Man of God, can you pray for me? Say, let's pray. You finish praying, no results. No testimonies. Can you believe God that in these seven days, that something will tear open in you? <laughs> huh? That there can be a capacity. Please help her. A capacity. A largeness of heart. Listen to me, my brothers and my sisters. It is the size that you carry in the spirit hmm, that determines your result. I'm telling you this. If I pour water on this cup, it is only the size of this cup that can take. If anything outside that, it will just waste away. So sometimes it's not more anointing. It is, oh God, expand me. Expand me. Expand me. I'm tired of this level of testimonies. Headache, headache, headache here. And then all oh, my teeth. <clears throat> I, I need to shift nations. I need to stand and look over a family. And say it has, it's, it has come to pass. Listen to me. If you're a man of God here, hear me. We're going to pray. Make sure you keep vetting what you are doing. Don't keep going to people's homes and waking them in the night. Doing night vigil from 10 to 5. And then at the end of it, two weeks later, they tell you nothing has happened. You say, let's do it again. Please, don't frustrate people. If that grace is not there, go and work on yourself. There are some, there are some ministry publicity you should not do until you are ready. Healing service. Healing, healing, healing. Bring the sick. And we mock ourselves. 90 sick people come. And only one person who is not even sure. He's not there. Abba. It's divine power. This ministry, you see my brothers and my sisters, is sitting on a large, there is capacity in the spirit that makes for this. All the people you see come, it's not just because they like a man. It's more than that. There is capacity. There is capacity. There is capacity. There are certain regions you don't do certain kinds of ministries and go scot free. The devil will attack you and destroy that ministry. I'm challenging many of you. You are anointed, but your capacity is small. Your results show it. 
Your words don't have to carry power. You, there's too much talk. Too much talk. Too much grammar. Too much talk. Too much grammar. Too much talk. We need to settle down. Get this thing for real. Get real spiritual power. I've already been setting myself during this prayer and fasting to say, Lord, there are, there are dimensions. There are dimensions. Look at the way you have kept your fellowship small because where you stopped is where the fellowship stopped. It can't grow more than you again. Look at where you kept your prayer group because you are small. You continue recycling mediocrity and clapping for yourself. Oh, you are MOG. You are this, whereas there are heights and virgin dimensions in the spirit. You know, let me tell you, when I see men of God sometimes and I see our pride, I stand and I wonder. I said, compared to what results? Where is the result? When there are still families crying, where is the result? How many times did you pray for people? Do you know when people drop prayer requests here, more than once, when I sit down and I hear people saying, I dropped my prayer request January, I dropped my prayer request February, I dropped my, it does something to me. I'm not saying you should know, I'm saying, ah. Did you have to drop it three times to be answered? That if you come for koinonia once, once, it's enough for your miracle. The rest should just be growth. Once, not twice. The next time is you bringing someone else. Enlightenment is good. But many of us, our capacities are small. That's why you finish fasting. And as soon as you finish your prayer meeting, as you are lying down, the spirits come back again. The spirits are testifying something. Apostle, I prayed three days. As soon as I was lying down, the same spirit that used to oppress me came back. Let me tell you, there is a level of fire. My brothers and my sisters hear me. Let me tell you, even a madman does not enter fire by mistake. Jesus prayed all night. How long? How long, please? Not all day. I've told you about the mystery of the night. Capacity. It takes a long time. So that you don't fool yourself. You just look at someone and feel you are falling down. I'm falling down. You are the same. It's a joke. It's a big, it's a serious joke. There are people who can speak over nations. I prayed and cried for that grace. I said, Lord, how there are regions that I may not have the opportunity to come more than once. Why should the people die? Capacity. This is the problem. It's too small. Too small. You are praying. Too small. You are speaking. It's too small. Laying hands. Too small. And so God cannot honor you. That grace is too small. Listen, it's time to come up here. Throw away the little, little results. Eh? Uh, thank God for the small results. But my brothers and sisters, we need to delve into something deeper. Deeper. The grace to change climates and change territories. Not saying a lot of talk that we cannot defend. There are still ailing people. Is there no bam in Gilead? You are getting people filled with the Holy Ghost. Five over ten. Is that a pass? They invite you into a family. Serve you lunch as a man of God. Take care of you. Even sow a seed for you. And then they say pray for us. And you pray and nothing happens. The spirits just watch you and nod their head. And you prayed in Jesus' name. Hi. Somebody needs to be angry and say, no more, no more, no more. Is it not a season of extraordinary fruitfulness? No more, no more. No more. No more. Oh.
presence. Oh, 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 in your presence. Oh, oh, oh in your presence. apostle but there's nothing apostolic about me they call me prophet but there's nothing prophetic about me it can't continue like this is someone praying increase my capacity increase my capacity according to the power according to the power according to the power thank you for yesterday's result but lord i press to the challenges of today thank you for the healings of yesterday Thank you for the miracles of yesterday. Thank you for the signs, the prophecy of yesterday. But Lord, I am dissatisfied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. You know you have entered a new dimension by the things that begin to answer to you. When I call you and you do not come, it's called dishonor. It means you do not regard me. So when you call healing at a dimension and it does not come, when you call breakthroughs at a dimension and it does not come, is the realm of the spirit answering you. You don't have the capacity to make that demand. Listen, 
you're going to cry for this for staying power it takes stamina and grace these things are not easy in the flesh it takes grace it takes grace it takes grace lift your voice and pray the stamina the power that stays so God. The power that stays, the power that stays, the power that stays, the power that stays. The power that stays. The power that stays. Hallelujah. 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 Elijah was a man of like passion. Elijah was a man like us. One thing separated him. He prayed earnestly, not casually, not circumstantially. He prayed earnestly that there be no rain and gave the timing three and a half years. Had he said 10 years, there will be no rain on earth for 10 years. Not by the will of God, by the dictates of a man. The largeness of your capacity. The largeness of your capacity. I'd like you to open your mouth. Start to correct things in your life. Start to speak over things. I disallow. I disallow. I disallow. I disallow. I disallow failure. I disallow weakness. Is someone praying? I disallow oppression over my family. I disallow poverty. I disallow hardship. Shabas kaba shala kato zabra. Embra kato kaparato sesekete. Embra kato skabarada bashata. I disallow failure in ministry. It shall not be like before. I enter a new season. I disallow joblessness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and we're done. Lord, honor my life with strange results. Strange results. Whether you are a man of God or not, let it please you, oh God. Honor my ministry. Honor my business. A strange order. Notable results. Notable results. Notable financial results. Notable supernatural results. Outside, are you praying? Honor my life with strange results. Results beyond debate. Results beyond contesting. Results beyond argument. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Honor my church with results. Honor my fellowship with results. 
honor my prayer group with results honor my family my wife my husband my children hallelujah listen listen to me what are results supernatural workings of god's spirit possibilities that only god can produce you are a man of god you are a prophet your eyes are blind your ears are blind you are not hearing seeing anything Abba. listen let me tell you this the last prayer you're going to say oh god make me dissatisfied with this current level listen 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 there are many of us your spiritual growth process was corrupted when they started giving you honorarium from one ministration whether people are blessed or not they say take 10 naira take 20 naira they now invite you to one fellowship and you stop growing come on please or when you started a church papa apostle joshua selman and you stop growing oh everybody's listening to your messages around the world as child's play you must get to a dimension where like samuel you are a man whose word cannot fall to the ground lord the dissatisfaction that will push me to the next level plant it in me plant it in me Plant it in me. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you more than little miracles it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less we know, we know there's, more. there's more that's found in you it's in you lord It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know. We know. There's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know. There's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. Then for many of us, what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men, the men component. God helps by bringing men. 
God can agree with you, men can disagree, you will still suffer. God agreed for David to become king. Samuel refused. David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed. Men can stop your breakthrough. It's not just demons. Men can stop your breakthrough. And not all men are castable. There are men who are gates, even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. pray Lord I'm ready for you this is my family hallelujah glory to the Lamb glory to the Father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the Lamb Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Now let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This is the instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to the Father. You are seated on the floor. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the floor. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken by the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Shabarakatos. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the spirit is breaking chains over flow one two three online chains chains of captivity all kinds of bondages every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destinies hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, 
you will know now by the fire that falls on you this is what the lord is telling me i'm about to pray that if there is anything that is demonic responsible for the challenge of your family get ready now because i see a wind of fire moving from this place right there outside i declare it by the power of the holy spirit let the fire of the spirit visit men and women and families now hold on listen i'm still praying listen to me the bible says that paul was at a place it was cold in the night and they put wood together when they said the a viper was there but it could not be seen but when they set fire on the wood the fire exposed the viper i declare shabbatos katadia by the fire of the spirit by the fire of the holy ghost every viper hiding in any family hiding in any destiny be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now every viper every snake scorpion Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Force is fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. Overflow one, lift your hands, please. Everyone in overflow one, lift your hands. The Lord is ministering to me. Overflow one, lift your hands. There is a mighty deliverance that is coming there. At the count of three, overflow one, I want you to shout Jesus. As you shout Jesus, I'm seeing gates with chains breaking. Are you ready now? One, two, three. lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry 
just let me do the prayer snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes serpents of the night be judged serpents of the night be judged serpents of the night be judged God is against you Ebenezer the helper of man is against you snakes I say it again be judged be judged no rest no peace be judged snakes be judged I'm seeing a lady vomiting something that's what I'm seeing in a vision right now I don't know what it is I'm seeing but in the name of Jesus Christ God is releasing people there is victory God is helping people in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire not impartation fire consuming people's head and God is saying his restoration of lost glory that's what I'm seeing restoration something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please restoration 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 I command restoration of every lost glory even the lawful captive shall be delivered all those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again victory by the blood of the eternal covenant victory by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here and I'm seeing that the father in that family I don't know if he's out of pressure but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house you may not even know it this is something that happened a while ago and whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues he didn't go and pay like give the herbalist whatever it is that's what God is showing me now and I'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed I'm going to pray Lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus who is Rebecca 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 like Becky Rebecca Rebecca I'm hearing a name Rebecca
Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother and my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. your name? Asmao Rebecca. 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 Asmao. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Samnaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her, just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now, in Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, um, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 The of Jesus Christ. Uh, this, woman, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ejimi, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it now here. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. I say it again. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Shadow Kasudosh. 
the spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay open your heart open your heart and pray the spirit of delay be judged now any kind of delay the spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay be judged now be judged now be judged now breakthrough for your family God is bringing breakthrough mama God is bringing breakthrough your son will tell you in Yoruba in the name of Jesus Christ there's something on you that makes wrong people come to you I have to pray for you Are you I'm looking at you very bad people come to you for bad reasons no serious person you know what I'm saying I don't want to start bringing long it's not there is something there's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people they will never pass you and go free they must turn back and this thing is destroying your life hold my hands shout Jesus look at this so you just think it's just love you are in love with a beautiful girl it's not just love out now go in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to the Lamb glory to the Father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the Lamb I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now from any strange power any force of darkness if you don't know your state of origin and you are from there you can know it now by the anointing in the name of Jesus anyone from that region that's the region the anointing of the spirit is focusing on now I command deliverance now the strong men within those regions let God's people go now release them right now the spirits of the grave the spirits of ancestry I curse you by the God of heaven hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they are in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people in worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick there is an anointing I say it again the anointing to bring healing to transport the power of God from the throne to their lives receive that anointing right now hallelujah 
Alléluia. Mama, come, please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension. Just hold her. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace. The grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Alabashi katusi adabakuriata. Jada soto si katusi alaka hambarisa. Leketo sada pratuski adabaladush. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you. Just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it, eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I your talked father, to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? I've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is missing? Yes. Sir. All these people, they are, Shaka, leave them. Shaka. Their loved ones are, Shaka. just find out. Once they are, don't, please, if, if you are not related to the people, don't, please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you, if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? Yes, sir, my in-law. Your in-law? Yes, sir. What do you mean your in-law? From Enugu State. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing? Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother? Yes, sir. Missing? Since when? 2014. 2014? They've not seen him. Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today, come, Mama. 
Give her the mic. Hold on, mama. Your, your child is alive. This boy you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one. This one. He's the only one. What only, happened to him? He, he left school. I put him in APU. He refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over our times, they call me in the police station or your state, but that court that is arrested. I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. Only son. One, one girl, one boy. That's you all. Know? Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit, because the devil sat down and saw that this boy is, will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, if, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the APU, he left the school and go away. What's his name? Awal is his name, Awal. Awal? Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they were they, smoking Igbo. Police came and drugs. packed them with he his friends. Drugs. This is what, Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than we do respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, codeine, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's... it's it's, it's okay it's okay because you see the way these boys are desperate for this morning they will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them 100 naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it let me tell you there is none of those boys that is bad in himself there is none of those girls that are bad in themselves is the influence of spirits nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day mama you have come for miracle service god will do something about you in this situation who is this my brother it's my mom younger brother your for mom's over, younger brother yes for missing. over 10 years we have not seen him 10 years yes we've not seen him oh pray how about you sir my elder you're brother. the pastor that came from warrior yeah. okay. from delta state from delta state okay. uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago we really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying. Everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now with the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus 
and when he called Lazarus he came out I call them by their various names in the spirit for as long as they are alive and walking on this earth I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families those who have been jailed because you see some of these people let's be very fair some of them they they smuggle their way out of the country they go to libya they go to all of these places some of them go to do prostitution unfortunately some of them go because they want to make money someone tells them come travel and all of that so some of them they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know but regardless of the case for as long as they are on earth we cry for mercy in the name of jesus christ may they be reconnected back to you in jesus name god bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing i hope someone is holding that person shouting me my friend come you are doing your ushering work but i will pray for you before you go back eh? look at me i'm looking at you the lord is telling me to tell you august 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you hold my hands august 7 don't forget write it father in the name of jesus i pray for this gentleman you have revealed to me august 7th i prophesy to him in the name of jesus christ may god change your life within that time may god change your life within that time may god change your life within that time i'm seeing a ring a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife, I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit. Be free from them now. Ladies, be free now. I command those spirit entities to release you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the gentleman, I command freedom for you now. From any entity laying claims over you. You go to bed and they come to you in the night. They try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They can use faces of people you know or you don't know. Or animals. Anyone under the sound of my voice, who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep, fire is coming on you now. 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 I command that they let you go now. For some of us, when good things are about to happen, just when you are about to get it, you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream. As soon as you wake up from that experience, no matter what it is, it's gone. Whether it is favor, whether it is breakthrough, fire is still speaking. I'm praying. At the count of three, oh God, you who is a mighty deliverer, I pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now. One, two, three. Let there be deliverance for you now. Deliverance for you now. From any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny. Hallelujah.
this lady with lime yes you come no look at me look at me i'm talking at that one with you yes come where are you coming from benway benway state look at me look at this are you seeing she just stood there and while i was looking i just saw a spirit to her look at me and turn the face now it's very funny how these things work see one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes if your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. How will I stand and see someone there and call her out? Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see it was something else but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. She just came quietly standing. This I would have shared the grace. And the dear lady will go back. And then it will look as if God is not in the place. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing you cough. I'm seeing her cough. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That she's beginning to cough. I don't know why, what is having to do with coughing. But in the name of Jesus Christ. Shatos let everything that speaks against you leave now this lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something, and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves god but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand 
reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of Jesus Christ that devil of fibroid we pray for the sick shortly we'll be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of Jesus Christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen I want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um, as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, i don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a God that heals. Please, if you have your prayer request, you can lift it up, write it very quickly. No, no, the ushers will collect it. Ushers. And, and then if, if there are not many, PR department can help them. Let's make it snappy. Or any other department can help them. Let's, let's make it very... We're going to make it very fast. Please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for. We may not have time to take testimonies. We are just going to pray very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Okay, let's see. Um, Ejimi, Ejimi and Benga, overflow three. Two of you can go to overflow three. Um, let's see. Pastor Alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor Femi and Kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray I'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of Jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that we can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh. Hey!
let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take me up and
the mighty God. Ain't lots of be true. You are the glorious God. Oh, Lord, Lord. Hey, you are the mighty God. Ain't lots of be true. You are the glory.
It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online, connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. And I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf. And I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. It's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month. Between now and even tomorrow, may you return with strange testimonies. 
whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered may it be so whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life 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 the key that you need to open the door for the next level may it be handed it over to you in the spirit the kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus may the God that gives favor to men grant you favor in the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time otherwise it will cost you I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours let there be that miracle. for those who have never had an opportunity to laugh every time you want to laugh something comes that must force you to cry i announce to you the season of your laughter begins tonight where you have been despised i place an anointing upon you and tonight i call you beulah and hefzibah in the name of jesus christ anyone here in ministry and things are not working you are doing your best but it's just not working receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders anyone here in business in the name of Jesus you are entering the season of your best days from now anyone here trusting God for a job for you or for your loved ones between now and the next miracle service return with your testimony return with your testimony return with your testimony every challenge plaguing your family not just you a family thing everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is i stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names i bring those patterns to an end now for those trusting god for financial miracles your miracle the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances I agree with you and I release my faith may the God that prospers men surprise you everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person return as a mother of joyful children The anointing that makes things work the grace for performance i release that grace upon your life everything that is upon your hand now i command it to work in the name of jesus christ and i announce to you let july from july 1st to july 31st may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders in the name of Jesus Christ tonight for some of you as you sleep 
may my God show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction in the name of Jesus every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you I declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness I pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that any man and woman position around you that has the ability to help you I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again a new level of spiritual encounters for some of you I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your Bible is in church or a koinonia right now fall in love with this bible fall in love with the word of god an appetite for the word of god i release upon you every kind of spiritual laziness you say i wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back it's an attack i cast that spirit over your life fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ we declare peace over Nigeria we declare peace over the north we declare peace over Plateau State we declare peace over Kaduna State we declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately. Desperately. You are saying man of God, I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value. I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life. Hitherto, every time I hear about Jesus, I, I resent him. I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him. But from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him. Second category of people. Man of God, I love Jesus with all my heart. But I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life. Things have gone haywire. If God does not help me, there will be no way out for me. You belong to these two categories, Overflow 1, Overflow 2, Main Auditorium. I'd like you to walk out here quickly. Overflow 3, I'd like you to run to your projector stand. Very quickly, I'm counting 1 to 5 and we're done. 1, God bless you. Appreciate them, Koinonia, they're coming. 2, you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace. To obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four. 
please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare from today until forever I belong to Jesus. I declare that I'm a child of God. The grace to walk in victory is mine. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, thank you. Father, we give you all the glory for drawing these ones. No man can come to you except you draw them. I pray that the grace that keeps men, let that grace keep these ones. The grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them in concert. All of you, there will be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly. All of you, God bless you. Let's honor them. Let's appreciate them. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.